How's it going guys? June 2nd, 10.04 a.m. still here on the East Coast. Trying to get a couple of logs done early before we tackle the day. Um, so this next next vlog will be on positivity. Um, as, I mentioned, as I mentioned before in previous vlog, I think that uh, remaining positive um, just during the course of your day every day um, kind of attracts that positivity um, into your life and it reflects that. Um, just kind of as a preface to get into this. But again, this ties into uh, leadership as well. So, um, from Colby and Damon again, the positivity that they, um, quote unquote here, exemplars take a positive approach to life, even in the face of hardship. They enjoy what they do and are optimistic about the future. So, I'm going to, again, read uh, what I wrote in Reply to Positivity in my real life experience. So, again, I'm going to describe an experience in the military to best describe positivity, in my opinion. So, I joined the military and chose a job of finance prior to enlisting. So, and I thought that I'd do this because it would be a, quote-unquote, safe job with little risk. So, uh, little did I realize that my one-year anniversary in the military would be my boots-on-ground day for Iraq. So as I got into Iraq, I kind of looked at the date and um, realized that just one year ago, I was uh, on my way to basic training um, and beginning basic training. So that was kind of a eye-opener to me. So I was pretty terrified and remained positive throughout the experience, even, you know, in the face of danger that was constantly there. I mean... Danger was constantly present in, in that type of environment. So I ended up enjoying and growing in deployment and receiving a battle, p battlefield promotion due to my exemplary performance and dedication to the mission. So um, I did get to promote a, a head of a couple of my peers and actually with another peer, which I was uh, pretty excited about. But I was, uh, was on a different plateau whenever um, it came to to that. I mean, I was functioning at a high level, and uh, I think this was because I ended up uh, embracing deployment after some time. I got to do a lot of things that um, others didn't, you know, have the necessary courage or, or just didn't want to do. So, and I volunteered my life on a repetitive basis so that uh, others didn't have to leave the safety of our forward operating base or Bob is some better know it. And I really haven't regretted it uh ever so um i definitely grew for that experience but it 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 required a change in my mind as to how i looked at deployment um i'm not going to get too much further into deployment but um when i got there i was very nervous very on age edge um and really didn't want to be there i was actually thinking of reasons not to go prior to even getting our things ready i thought that maybe i could sideline it by doing something else or maybe uh, uh, just figuring out ways not to go but all my friends were going and some some who I had been to advanced individual training with and I didn't want to leave them behind either it was my entire uh, company that was going um, as a company and as a group and as a unit so I figured why not um, try to make the best of it um, and it was something that was very common uh, to happen but I thought that being uh, in finance that I wouldn't be uh, put into harm's way but I was sorely mistaken and I never connected the dots but uh, looking back on it when I was in basic training you're like regardless of your MOS you're just going to be a replacement for soldiers down down range is what they call it uh, in in other countries, that I would just be a replacement for soldiers who are already in conflict anymore. So I just thought they were going hot air up everybody's, you know, butt, and I was uh, sorely mistaken because my one year anniversary was uh, the day I arrived to Iraq. So again, I still remain positive throughout the entire experience, and. Um, still remain positive about the entire experience. I got to do a lot of things that um, even at the pay grade that I was, uh, E3 at the time, um, was it, would, it involved a lot of responsibility. And I got to do 
a lot of cool things that I didn't think uh, finance people would get to do. Um, I spent a majority of my time uh, doing missions, going from place to place, um, and uh, uh, traveling a lot with Marines as well. And that was an interesting take as we got there. Um, our first six months of deployment was, uh, uh, our base was ran by Marines, and then the last, I think the last four months was ran by the Army. They did like a, a changeover of responsibility for that FOB, and it was ran by an airborne, uh, an airborne group. So, but needless to say, I learned a lot. I remained positive, even um, in a place where it's hard to remain positive. Um, I tried to find the silver lining in things, and it, it really has helped me grow. And seeing that um, if I can remain positive in that type of environment, there's no reason why I can't remain positive in almost every other type of environment. So remaining positive throughout um, every type of experience is uh, coming very handy for me, and it's proven worthwhile every single time. So I can explain the importance of remaining positive, even in your day-to-day -day life. Um, you know, be appreciative. For the things that you do have and you'll find a positive silver lining to be happy about something every single day um, even if that thing starts to become repetitive like if you're happy that um, you get to spend time with your daughter or be with your daughter today um, some things that we take for granted so again uh, positivity is very uh, important here and I can't stress the importance and the attraction that you uh, build whenever you start to think positive and do it consistently so that'll be it for the second vlog for today. And I think that will put me up to date with the vlogs. And I hope you guys are enjoying these uh, leadership type of vlogs. This is actually stuff that I'm writing about in my class um, as I reflect uh, as well. So appreciate you guys watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and I will see you on the next one.